guys so today I did a hair tutorial on how to get these really tight curls using a wand so if you guys want to see how I achieve this look then please keep on watching alright guys so the very first thing that you're gonna want to do is brush out your hair you want to make sure that you have no knots in it it's just gonna help out the process a lot more you're not gonna have to keep stopping to untangle it and right about this time is when you would spray the no heat um, I mean the heat protectant if you have any I don't so I'm just not gonna do that and I'm gonna go ahead and start off by splitting my hair I'm gonna put my thumbs right above my ear and I'm gonna drag it all the way to the back to my thumbs connect and then I'm gonna separate my hair and put a hair tie on it and I'm just gonna grab really small pieces because I want these curls to be nice and tight and then going in with my wand I got this wand at Target I believe it was around 20 something dollars if it was over that I wouldn't buy it so I'm pretty sure it was <laughs> within the $20 range and I'm just gonna curl I mean wrap my hair around the wand what I really love about this wand is how small the tip is so I feel like I can get really tight curls and because you are grabbing such small pieces you don't need to leave it on for so long but look how cute these curls are and I'm just gonna be um, curling away from my face and towards my face so away from my face would be like this and towards my face would be like this one and this is just gonna give you more volume in the end because your curls aren't gonna wrap together so now I'm gonna split my hair again and for this part I'm gonna put my thumbs where my eyebrows are or actually yeah where my eyebrows are the very tip the arc and I'm gonna drag my thumbs to the back and part it again and again, split it in half and comb it just a little bit. Whoa, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna grab small pieces, about like a finger width. I'm gonna get as close to my head as I feel comfortable doing. And I'm gonna wrap it around the wand. Leave it on there for a few seconds and then let it go. That one was away from my face, so this one I'm going to do towards my face. It, it, it might even help you if you switch hands. And then this one towards my face. So just alternate from away your, from your face and towards your face. On the pieces nearest to your face, um, you should curl away from your face that way it frames your face better. All right guys So this section is complete. So I'm gonna repart my hair. Okay, and for this section I'm just gonna go to the tip of my forehead and all the way around Just like so split it in half again bring it forward. We're gonna want to brush it out I'm gonna curl this one towards my face so towards my face, I'm going to grab it with my left hand. I'm going to put the wand underneath the hair. I'm going to start at the end. I'm going to curl upwards and wrap it around. And I'm going to let it sit here for about 10 seconds. And once I feel like it's ready, I'm going to let it go. And that's that one. So now I'm going to alternate and I'm going to curl this the next piece away from my face. This time I'm going to put the one on top of the hair and I'm going to wrap it around away from my face. Earlier we did it, we wrapped it towards my face and then let it go. Alright, so now that this section is done, I'm going to go ahead and drop the last section. Where I normally part my hair is right here, just a little bit past my peak. Now I'm going to do it the opposite way. So when I bring the hair back, I don't have like a harsh line. It'll blend more seamlessly and also have more volume when I split it. So part it the opposite way that you normally would. Alright guys, so I finally finished curling my hair and this is what it looks like. It looks a little crazy. Now what you're going to want to do is spray some hairspray. You don't want to apply too much hairspray to your hair either because it will make your curls fall. And that's not what we want and as I'm applying this I'm gonna go ahead and scrunch my hair up and now I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and try to separate the curls by running my fingers through it like this 
and then I'm gonna throw it back and run my fingers through it again I'm just kind of making the curls jump and I'm separating them with my finger now I'm gonna find my cur my part just like that I'm gonna also grab my brush and I'm gonna comb a little bit some of these curls. Just a little bit, just because my hair tends to get really frizzy when I do this. All right guys, so this is the final look. I went ahead and took some pieces behind my hair, teased it a little bit at the root, and I love these curls. They're so cute and bouncy. And they'll last you a very long time as well because they are so tight. You could even go ahead and like go in with the brush and brush it out and it'll give you like a wave effect because they are so tight so voluminous and puffy and fun it looks super cool if you do like a half ponytail or maybe even two ponytails a bun you could just play around with it it's so much fun i think it looks super cute i feel like a different person with curly hair like this if you guys like this video please like and subscribe leave a comment below of any video ideas you guys would like me to do and yeah Chao plebada, ajá. Uh -huh.